I guess we'll just start with, you know, like, how are you doing given, you know, all the circumstances that are you know, going on right now? It's just kind of going day to day, trying to stay level, stay grounded, just not spiral into anything. What I want most would be able to have my mom to say like, hey, we got this, we'll get through it. Uh, but because she's not here to say that, it's a little bit there is no like voice of reasoning. Like there's other people in my family um, who I'm close to and who I love dearly, but no one holds that same relationship that I had with my mom as much as I want her here. It's also almost a sense of relief that she's not here because she doesn't have to witness or go through everything that the rest of the world is going through right now. And that was one of the things that I mentioned firstly at a group last night. Did anyone else kind of share that same mentality? Um, a lot of people agreed with the fact that um, they want their loved one here mm -hmm. to, because of that, um, the bond that they had with them. It's just in a time like this, like we're all still relatively young and whether you're, and even if you weren't like a teenager and you were any age really, when you are scared or when you're worried about something, your family is the one that you typically go to to rely on and that's always there for you to back you up. And not having a key aspect of your family, it, it sucks, especially in a time like this. I heard that you're a senior right yes. now. So what's that like? Um, just not being at school right now for that, those last couple months. Um, well, tonight actually was supposed to be grad batch. Mm -hmm. um, so that was something that, that was one of the first things that became canceled. Trying to get through classes is interesting. And then knowing that we, like as a senior, like I spent 12 years fighting through school, endlessly trying to just do the best I can because I'm an overachiever and I am very hard on myself. And there's that validation and accomplishment of walking across the stage and accepting a diploma and being around all like in such like a happy, positive environment, celebrating amazing accomplishments and now we're not going to have that it already sucked too that i knew my mom would not be able to be at my graduation that was one of the first things when it first happened and i first had the news the first night um it was just running through my head all the different things that she wouldn't be a part of and graduation was one of the big ones so that's like a big milestone in a lot of people's lives and now that she won't even be here for whatever it is, then that's something. Also, I mean, I'm going to Boston. One of my closer friends is going to Rhode Island, another one to Virginia. Um, we're not gonna be near each other, conveniently near each other. And we are missing out on a last few months, these last few months to, make more memories until we have to say goodbye for a while when all the when all the news was just like okay all schools are canceled all these activities are shut down and i needed someone to talk to and because instantly too anything that i'm i'm affected by it's just i typically want my mom there because she could always keep me level and i know that with her by my side I'll get past this and it'll be okay and we'll get through it all. And I just really wanted, because I don't have my mom, I really wanted Valerie's house and like a meeting with all my like friends and the people who I've grown close to over the past few years. I wanted to like be able to like talk and see this and see where everyone else was at too. Because talking yesterday, a lot of people, a lot of us are in similar boats and we're going through similar things and there's other seniors in the group too so all the seniors understand the like crappiness of the situation 
Um, so it's just, it was so nice to be able to see them and hear them and be like, okay, we're, I'm definitely not alone. 